Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel Airbus, uh, what's it doing now? Um, I just wanted to uh, just give you this short video uh, which was uh, one that was actually produced by Airbus on the instructor Win. Uh, I did one of these uh, recently but this particular one concerns the intercept from above procedure and one of my recent videos we took a look at a safety event uh, uh, issued by Airbus in the Airbus Safety Magazine, uh, which concerned inappropriate VS target during auto flight mode reversion. And that was the Airbus um, uh, Safety Magazine and a video. And I talked through the particular event that occurred uh, whereby the uh, crew uh, carried out an intercept from above procedure. Uh, they carried it out incorrectly as during the go around. Uh, are having already selected a vertical speed uh, for the procedure, uh, the go around was performed, the incorrect go around altitude was set, and at Altstar, the crew then revised the go around. That then took uh, into took the aircraft into a mode reversion of vertical speed, and it remembered the previous vertical speed that had been set, which then caused the aircraft. Uh, to descend. Now that article also takes a look at uh, two or three other uh, scenarios whereby you might uh, experience that um, that mode reversion. So if you haven't seen that already, I'll put the uh, um, I'll put the tag up on the screen here so you can click into that and have a look. And of course, that's available on Airbus Safety Magazine article. You can read that uh, yourself at your own leisure. But um, Airbus uh, Instructor Network uh, have uh, produced uh, this video, which is a, uh, uh, the intercept from a broad procedure, and it's a good reminder, and it has a nod uh, to that particular safety event. So I thought the two um, marry in uh, quite nicely. So I thought I'd um, uh, put this video out. Again, not my work from uh, Airbus um, themselves, and it concerns instructors, but you don't have to be an instructor. You can watch this yourself. If you just look at Airbus Win, and uh, you can read the watch the video entirely yourself. But of course, I thought I'd put it on here because it was a good nod uh, to the safety article which I covered. Um, so, what does it do? Look at it. It's a reminder of the procedure they use to lose three, two left. They go through a, a detailed step by step. Uh, of the procedure, which I think is a useful reminder. Um, it's not something we do every day. Uh, and like I said, it's a nod to the safety article where the crew reset uh, the go around. And there's a nice conclusion at the end of the video as well, which sort of breaks down each step by step and a reminder obviously of the Airbus uh, golden rules at the end there as well. So anyway, I'll leave you in peace to, in, uh, to enjoy the video now. Uh, keep the plate spinning, stay safe. Uh, keep the suggestions coming about content. Uh, I'm working through a, a number of um, uh, technical videos uh, at the moment and also something to do with command, which a few people have asked for. Uh, so watch out for that. Uh, stay tuned. See you again uh, very soon. And more importantly, stay safe. Thanks very much. Hi Dirk. Hi Pierre. And welcome to this short video dedicated to the glide interception from above procedure. We will review the procedure step by step and discuss the possible threats and mitigations related to the procedure. To do so, we propose to go into a simulator and perform the glide interception from above procedure. In addition, we will present an inappropriate mode reversion event that could occur during a glide interception from above if the procedure is not followed. In the proposed scenario, the aircraft is in heading and altitude mode at 4000 feet and is being radar vectored to the ILS 3 to left in Toulouse. The intermediate approach altitude where the glide is normally intercepted is at 3000 feet. The air traffic controller is unable to descend the aircraft down to 3000 feet due to low level traffic.
how we will start to describe the procedure step by step. After a while, the aircraft is on intercept heading towards the localizer and configured in config 1. On the navigation display, the crew observes that the aircraft will pass the final approach point above the intermediate approach altitude and mentally prepares for the interception from above procedure. When the aircraft is cleared for approach, the pilot flying can descend to the intermediate approach altitude and arms the approach modes. The pilot flying must verify that the localizer and glide slope modes are armed to make sure the final approach course and glide slope will be intercepted. In order to have the best rate of descent, the pilot flying will adjust the aircraft configuration to at least config 2 with an appropriate speed and, if required, lower the landing gear. Pierre, why do I have to wait until the lock mode is engaged before I can proceed to the glide interception? On Airbus aircraft, the lock star mode may engage before the standard reliable localizer area, and this in order to reduce the exposure to localizer overshoot during the interception. So, to ensure that the aircraft is well established on the final approach before descending to intercept the glide from above, the pilot flying must wait until the lock mode is engaged. Thank you for making that clear, Pierre. Now that I'm established on the localizer, I can set the FCU altitude above the current aircraft altitude. Why can I not select an FCU altitude below and continue in open desk? There are two reasons for that. First, we do not want the aircraft to level off before intercepting the glide. This may occur if the FCU altitude is below the aircraft altitude. Second, Airbus recommends not to use open desk mode at low altitude. Open desk mode with idle thrust may result in a too high negative vertical speed and then generate glide slope capture behavior that is not appropriate and even may generate toes alert. It is recommended to use a vertical speed mode. Anyway, if the procedure is correctly applied by setting up the FCU altitude above the present aircraft altitude, the open desk mode is not available anymore. Thank you, Pierre. When setting the FCU altitude above the present altitude, the pilot flying must avoid pulling the altitude knob, because that will cause the mode to change to open climb. Now that the aircraft is established on the localizer and the FCU altitude is above the current aircraft altitude, it is time for the pilot flying to put the aircraft in a controlled and stabilized descent towards the glide using the VS mode. The glide interception from above procedure is particularly affected by secondary glide slope interception. As you can see in this picture, the secondary glide slope area is above the primary glide slope. This means when performing glide from above procedure, the exposure to secondary glide interception is increased. Therefore, monitoring the glide interception and validity is mandatory. The pilot flying selects a vertical speed, adjusts it as necessary and should not exceed 2000 feet per minute, as this may result in a speed increase towards VFE. While approaching the glide, the pilot flying should carefully monitor the rate of descent and speed to avoid exceeding VFE and take appropriate action like configuration change and landing gear extension in order to control the speed. The fly crew should monitor the glide slope capture and set the go-around altitude on the FCU when the glide slope is captured. When established on the ILS, the normal SOPs can be resumed. And of course, if things do not go as expected, or the aircraft cannot be stabilized at the stabilization height, a go-around must be performed. Dirk, now let me focus 
on a specific scenario that occurred in service. This event is detailed in the safety first article inappropriate vertical speed target during auto flight mode reversion. And I would like to present an extract here. As illustrated in this article, the aircraft, an A320, was performing a glide interception from board. However, the approach was not stabilized and the fly crew decided to perform a rollout. The aircraft started to climb and reached the FCU selected altitude and the star mode engaged. At this moment, the pilot flying noticed that the FCU altitude was not the published go-around altitude and then changed the FCU to the correct and higher altitude. This generated a reversion to a negative vertical speed target. How is it possible to revert to a negative vertical speed if the new FCU altitude is higher than the present aircraft altitude? Should it not be the current vertical speed? The reversion to vertical speed mode occurred 31 seconds after the vertical speed was previously selected by the fly crew to capture the glide. As per A320 family design, whenever vertical speed target is pre-selected or selected, it remains as an active pre-selected target for 45 seconds. This means that if an automatic reversion to vertical speed occurs within these 45 seconds, the vertical speed target at VS engagement synchronized on the pre-selected vertical speed that was selected during the glide interception from above. This logic is only applicable for A300, A310 and A320 family aircraft. As usual, the best mitigation to notice this not expected guidance is to monitor and announce the FMA and take action if things do not go as expected. To sum up, follow the logical steps of the procedure. Remember to arm the approach mode. Remember to select an FCU altitude above the current altitude. Initially, select a vertical speed of minus 1500 to minus 2000 feet per minute with an appropriate speed to capture the glide. And remember, proceed to the glide interception only when the lock mode is engaged. Create sufficient drag to control the speed and as usual, the golden rules apply. We hope you enjoyed this wind video and, and see, see you around, around for, for the, the next, next one. one.